Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to discuss differences between American and British English and which accent you should end up learning. So if you're interested, please continue watching this video. Disclaimer. I was born and raised in Russia and I spent 25 years of my life in Russia, just recently moved to the United States and I'm still working on my American accent. A very interesting thing that two years ago I had a British accent, so I will try to mimic both accents in this video and we'll see the differences. If you're not a native English speaker, I'm gonna tell you a very interesting story. When I was 14 and my English level was intermediate, I was in the UK with my friend who was from Great Britain and we were standing by London Eye and suddenly she turns her head and says, oh my God, those Americans, what's with Americans? And she says, can you hear their accent? It's so different. And I'm like, I couldn't hear it, but I was like, yes, I can, <laughs> but I couldn't hear it. The thing is, I was able to tell the difference between different accents just when I reached the advanced level. Before that, I was listening to a lot of British singers. I am a big fan. And when I listened to her songs, I started hearing those, when you kind of minimize the T sound, it's littlest, it's somewhere in your throat. Then I started listening to Kate Nash and I started to notice the way she pronounces fitta, fitta. And I started to realize this is a British thing. So I would say by the age of 17, uh, during my third trip to the UK, I became proficient in defining the accents and I became so proficient that I was sitting with my friend watching an American movie and I said, why don't they translate American English into British? Because I cannot get a thing. I'm so used to British accent. That was super funny. The thing is, if you are intermediate, don't really worry about not understanding accents. That's fine. You're gonna come to it a little later. Now I'm gonna split myself into two different persons. One is gonna be American Marina. One is gonna be a British Marina. Hello there. My name is Marina and I'm from Great Britain. What's up guys, my name is Marina, I'm from the United States. Now let's talk about the differences themselves. Difference number one is the way Americans pronounce T sound. Tomato, tomato, better, better, water, water, potato, potato. Meh. Sometimes there are words that are written in the same way, but they are pronounced in a completely different way. Herb, herb. Salmon, salmon, schedule, schedule, privacy, privacy, aluminum, aluminium, adult, adult. Another thing that I've noticed is that the letter A in British would be pronounced as A, in American it would be pronounced as A. For example, uh, when I was visiting my friend, her name is Catherine, when I was visiting her in the UK, she told me that she has a rabbit. And I was so surprised. I was like, rabbit, no way you should say rabbit and you're like no in Britain we say rabbit and yes this is the way it works in American versus British English can't can't and aunt another thing that I've noticed that Americans love the sound R and British people tend to diminish or just miss it at all leisure leisure measure measure clever clever parliament parliament burn birth work work of course you know that some words are completely different in american compared to english but they mean the same thing bathroom toilet first floor ground floor second floor first floor vacation holiday downtown city center Another thing that surprised me, but it should, should have been obvious, is that there is slang in different countries that people do not understand. Uh, for example, I came to America and I kept saying posh, which in British means that you are kind of this luxury person wearing luxury brands and all polished. And you would say like Victoria Beckham is posh or Kim Kardashian is posh in British, but Americans they don't really know. By the way, if you're American and if you're watching this video, let me know if you've heard of the word posh before. And of course, the language is affected by culture and culture-wise, these two countries are completely different because I deal with both. And when I get an email from a British person, it will be like, Dear Marina, I hope you're doing well. Uh, please let me know if you have any new inquiries regarding the proposal we discussed and I'm looking forward to chatting to you in the next two weeks. The American email will be, hey, what's up? Do you want to jump on a call? So it will be less formal and it will be a lot shorter. Five o'clock tea. <laughs>
Alright guys, I think that was it. Let me know if you enjoyed watching this video. If this video scores 5,000 likes, then I'm gonna do the second part of it and tell about other differences in both languages. If you are not subscribed to this channel, uh, you need to do this. Like, look below the video. There is a button uh, and it's called subscribe. Please subscribe and do not miss my next video. I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!